Wait, what did you Oh, Goff was. Gordal. No, no, no. I was saying I'm Gordal. No. Go as my own. They can be false positives. Yeah. So they ended up doing a triage. The triage is supposed to have a test that's a little bit more advanced. And that one came out negative. But they did do ultrasound for fluid and said um, fluid was on the lower side, like borderline low. So we have another ultrasound scheduled. For Thursday morning, and they'll just double check things again. They still want to check baby size because I'm measuring 36, which is a little bit small for where I should be at. So they're already planning on doing a recheck as it is. So we'll do the fluid again and check and see if that's different too. Because they actually, when they're doing the ultrasound, they do it by quadrants, and they got to one of the quadrants and it was all baby. So maybe the baby will move at that point. We can measure more. But at this point, everything's good. I missed a couple hours of work. So, because we thought maybe they probably would have induced within six hours if I had ruptured my um, water, which was pr what they were thinking might have happened. But it sounds like not. So, unless I lose more fluid and have more contraction, I don't need to go back. So, at this point, we should be good. Baby is still cooking. Here at the clinic, they just, they called me this morning, they want me back, she wants me back to do like a stress test, which basically is the same thing they did yesterday, they'll strap monitors over my belly just to monitor baby's heartbeat and if there's any contractions and just see what baby's doing in there. Not with Ben, appointments at this point, I'm trying to make, you know, if Ben can be there, be there, um, but at this point just trying to get things done in a timely manner so that we're not keeping the doctor waiting and results waiting. I am heading to my ultrasound appointment, check fluid levels of baby and um, baby size and see if the baby's growing or what's going on in there.
check this just like on the ultrasound baby tush her baby back is all the way over here so I am kind of crooked I don't know if you can tell so see how it's more on the right side um, when the ultrasound tech was doing stuff placenta was over here and baby's just kind of hanging out over this kind of area I just wanted to give a recap on this busy, crazy week. Went in this morning for a blood pressure recheck, and blood pressure was good. It was a little high on Wednesday, but I'm thinking part of that is because everything going on um, just made it high. Basically, we went in for an appointment on... They thought maybe I had punctured my water, and so from there, things just kind of did checks and balances with the last couple weeks of the pregnancy. Um, kind of on high alert to make sure everything's safe and okay. I had yesterday, nope, the day before Wednesday, um, since everything was cleared from the triage, meaning like I didn't need to be induced, I hadn't punctured my water, everything was negative. Uh, my fluid levels were still low, so my doctor wanted me to come back in yesterday and do a stress test and just monitor baby's heartbeat. Um, so there was some data in between the scheduled ultrasound for Thursday and make sure we knew baby was okay. Baby was okay and blood pressure was a little high, so that's why I went in again today. Um, as far as yesterday, I ended up doing the ultrasound and baby looks really good, measuring maybe about six pounds right now based on the ultrasound. I haven't heard any um, feedback from it, so I'm taking no news is good news. So I think we're just going to keep on cooking from here. So baby's just growing okay, just a smaller baby, which is totally fine because I'm not a very large person, so I don't really want a large baby. But yeah, so I think baby is just a little bit small and that's okay. Um, fluid levels were within normal range, which was a large concern. Um, so I'm just going to keep on keeping hydrated, um, hope that my headaches don't really come back anymore. Uh, get some rest, that sort of thing, and we'll see where the next few weeks lead us. We will see. I did realize, this is just a side note, but my baby has no pants. I went through all of the shower stuff, and there was lots of onesies. There were some pants, but yeah, so I need to get baby some pants um because it's a winter baby so i told ben i was like we wouldn't have this issue if it was a summer baby but because we're in the winter we definitely need some little pants and like so i'm gonna be picking some of those up today or this weekend so yeah so everything's good and we'll just keep on taking one day at a time so thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe um i'm glad everybody's okay and hopefully everything's healthy and smooth from here on out so, thanks guys, bye. But, hope you guys enjoy this and keep on watching and subscribing. Until next time, peace out.